Today, we're gonna to talk about the biggest problem that I see with new entrepreneurs, which is their ego. I get it, I understand, I was there, I see this all the time, I wish I knew early on. And, and before we jump to any conclusions, ego is needed. However, in the context of today's show, I'm gonna talk about the biggest problems that I see when it comes to new entrepreneurs and their egos and some really cool ways of understanding and moving forward with having an ego. What's up guys, my name is Chris, founder of Warrior Consulting, and I help entrepreneurs hit the seven-figure mark in their first year and scale past the multi-million dollar mark. And all you need to do by watching this video and following this channel is execute what we teach you, and you could do that too. So make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, and let's get started. Number one, the first thing to understand about having an ego is it's needed. It's 100% needed to have an ego. Every human has an ego. It's needed to have an ego as an entrepreneur. What is important is understanding the ego, okay? So before we jump to any conclusions or have any misconceptions of what we're talking about here, having an ego is important, super important. Understanding it is what we're gonna pick apart next. Number two, understanding your ego versus being controlled by your ego. So what does that mean? Okay, we just talked about that an ego is needed. We all have egos. It's needed to have an ego specifically as an entrepreneur. However, the biggest problem that I see with new entrepreneurs is they're controlled by their ego. Their ego controls them. So that's lack of understanding their ego. If we allow ego to control us, we don't understand it. But if we understand our ego and we understand why we're thinking these thoughts, doing these things, making these decisions, that's the first step to understanding ego and being a successful entrepreneur. So number three is recognizing the ego, which is understanding as we just talked about, versus understanding your intuition. So this might sound a little complicated, but really what we're talking about here is fundamentally. Remember, entrepreneurs, the biggest problem that I see is them not understanding their ego. And I was right there in the boat many years ago as well, which really allows me to be able to articulate, you know, a decade and a half later, understanding and recognizing, which is the third key point here, recognizing ego versus intuition. So for instance, recognizing your ego is, let's say you deal with a tough situation and you feel hurt. And when you feel hurt, you're typically triggered. And that's your ego controlling you and controlling your emotions to possibly slip into a victim mentality, possibly play entitled, possibly be controlled by your emotion via your ego keeping you in that state rather than recognizing the emotion, stepping aside from it and being able to deal with the situation without emotion and ego involved. So the other side of this is your intuition. A lot of times people are controlled by their ego, but where high performers and advanced entrepreneurs excel is, they have a connectivity with their higher self, with God, with source, with the universe, with whatever we wanna call it. And whatever we wanna call it, is our intuition. And when we get the intuition, when we get the messages and we get those thoughts that pop into our head, typically that's not ego. And understanding the difference between those thoughts, which is intuition, and understanding those thoughts when we're triggered being controlled by ego and understanding the differences between the two and allowing intuition to guide us and control us is the biggest step of stepping aside from the ego and listening to your higher self, source, God, or whatever we want to call it. All right, guys, let's just run it back. The biggest problem I see with new entrepreneurs is their ego. The keys and the three things I taught today is having an ego is needed, understanding, number two, understanding your ego versus being controlled by it, and number three, which is really high-level stuff, guys, is recognizing your ego versus recognizing your intuition and 
applying the intuition versus applying the ego. If you guys have any questions, I highly encourage it. Drop them in the comments below. If you have feedback, drop them in the comments below. Definitely hit that like button, and we'd be more than grateful for you guys to subscribe and come along on the journey with this growing community and tribe. We appreciate you, and I'll catch you next time.